One day, a single mother was in the supermarket with her four children who were playing around. They were running around grabbing items off the shelves, crying and screaming all over the place. Finally, the mother cornered them and said, I should have swallowed all of you. <laughs> a young girl are on their way to Vegas to get married. Before getting there, the girl says to the guy that she has a confession to make. The reason that they have not been too intimate is because she's very flat-chested. If he wishes to cancel the wedding, it's okay with her. The guy thinks about it for a while and says he does not mind that she's flat. And is not the most important thing in a marriage. Several miles down the road, the guy turns to the girl and says that he also wants to make a confession. He says that below his waist, he's just like a baby. If the girl wants to cancel the marriage, it's okay with him. The girl thinks about it for a while and says that she does not mind and that she also believes there are other things far more important than the in a marriage. They are happy that they are honest with each other and go on to Vegas and get married. On their wedding night, the girl takes off her clothes. She's as flat as a washboard. Finally, the guy takes off his clothes. One glance at the guy's naked body and the girl faints and falls to the floor. After she gains consciousness, the guy says, The guy says, I told you before we got married. Why did you still faint? The girl says, you told me it was just like a baby. The guy replies, Yeah, 8 pounds and 21 inches. <laughs> Little Johnny and his mother were out and about. Little Johnny, out of the blue, asked his mother, Mommy, how old are you? The mother responded, Women don't talk about their age. You will learn this as you get older. Little Johnny then asked, Mommy, how much do you weigh? His mother responded again, that's another thing women don't talk about. You will learn this too, as you grow up. Little Johnny, still wanting to know about his mother, then fired off another question. Mommy, why did you and Daddy get a divorce? The mother, a little annoyed by the questions, responded, Johnny, that is a subject that hurts me very much, and I don't want to talk about it now. Then little Johnny, frustrated, sulks until he's dropped off at a friend's house to play. He consulted with his friend about his conversation with his mother. His friend said, all you have to do is sneak a look at your mother's driver's license. It's just like a report car from school. It tells you everything. Later, little Johnny and his mother were out and about again. Little Johnny began with, mommy, mommy, I know how old you are. You are 32 years old. The mother was very shocked. She asked, sweetheart, how do you know that? Little Johnny shrugged and said, I just know. And I know how much you weigh. You weigh 130 pounds. Where did you learn that? Asked the mother again. Little Johnny said, I just know and I know why you and daddy got a divorce. You got an F in ass. <laughs> A little girl came running into the house, bawling her eyes out and cradling her hands. Mommy, quick, get me a glass of cider, she wailed. Why do you want a glass of cider, asked her mom. I cut my hand on a thorn and I want the pain to go away. Confused but weary of the child's whining, the mother obliged and poured her a glass of cider. The little girl immediately dumped her hand in it. Ouch, it still hurts. This cider doesn't work, she whined. What are you talking about? asked mom. What made you think that cider would ease the pain? Well, I overheard my big sister that whenever she gets a prick in her hand, she can't wait to get it in cider. <laughs>
two old retirees were talking about naughty acts in a cafe. When they finished, the two retirees paid their bill and leave the cafe. A young man sitting next to them has overheard the conversation and smiles to himself, thinking it would be quite amusing to see two old retirees going at it. He gets up and follows them. Sure enough, he sees the two old retirees near the factory. The little old lady pulls off her panties and lifts up her dress. The old man pulls down his pants and grabs the lady's hips, and the little old lady then reaches for the fence. Well, what follows is 40 minutes of the most athletic the man has ever seen. The little old man is banging away at the little old woman at a pace that only can be described as phenomenal. Limbs are flying everywhere, the movement is a blur, and they do not stop for a single round. Finally, they collapse and don't move for an hour. The man is stunned. Never in his life has he ever seen anything that equates to this. Not in the movies. Not from his friends. Not from his own experiences. Reflecting on what he has just seen, he says to himself, I have to know his secret. If only I could like that now, let alone in 50 years time. The two old retirees have by this time recovered and dressed themselves. Gathering the courage he approaches the older man. He says, Sir, in all my life I have never seen anybody screw like that, particularly at your age. What's your secret? Could you screw like that 50 years ago? The retiree replies, Son, 50 years ago that f fence wasn't electric. <laughs> The guy has been asking the prettiest girl in town for a date and finally she agrees to go out with him. He takes her to a nice restaurant and buys her the gourmet dinner with expensive wine. On the way home, he pulls over to the side of the road in a secluded spot. They start n***ing and he's getting pretty excited. He starts to reach under her skirt and she stops him, saying she's a virgin and wants to stay that way. Well, okay, he says, how about a blow? Yuck, she screams, I'm not putting that thing in my mouth. He says, well then how about a hand? I've never done that, she says. What do I have to do? Well, he answers, remember when you were a kid and you used to shake up a coke bottle and spray your brother with it? She nods. Well, it's just like that. So he pulls it out and she grabs hold of it and starts shaking it. A few seconds later, his head flops back on the hardest. His eyes close. Snot starts to run out of his nose. Wax blows out of his ear and he screams out in pain. What's wrong? She cries out. Take your thumb off the end. <laughs> This guy walks into the bar and sees a gorgeous blonde sitting on the bar stool all alone. So the guy sits down next to her and pulls a small box from his pocket. He opens it and there's a frog inside. The blonde says he's cute, but does he do tricks? The guy says yes, he licks girls' cats. So after talking with her for several minutes, he convinces her to come with him to his apartment. They get there and she takes all her clothes off, gets into bed, and opens her legs. The guy sets the frog right between her legs and it just sits there not moving at all. The blonde says, well, what's up? The frog still does not move. So the guy leans over to the frog and says, all right, I'm only going to show you how to do this one more time. <laughs> <laughs>